Miles Plumley getting his troops ready for battle for quite the game, taking on NC State. And the Wolfpack came out of the gates firing and hitting from everywhere. This a three-pointer from Alex Johnson, followed by Lorenzo Brown with three of his own. The Wolfpack would open with an 8-0 run and lead 46-30 at halftime thanks to that Brown throwdown. But the second half was a different story. Seth Curry hitting from deep, but the game changer came a little over five minutes into the half when C.J. Leslie picked up his fourth foul, much to the chagrin of head coach Mark Godfrey. Mason Plumley taking advantage on the defensive end with this block, and then Seth Curry would go into attack mode, finishing at the rim on multiple possessions to spark the Duke comeback. But in the end, the Blue Devils would look to their three-point shooting. Austin Rivers sinking the three here, and then only minutes later, Seth Curry would bang it home from three, finishing with 26 points on the night. Now down only two after trailing by as many as 20, and Rivers hits the three, and Duke would take its first lead of the game, 72-71, an advantage they would not relinquish. Duke comes back from its biggest halftime deficit under Coach K and would win by a final score of 78-73.